my talk on analogous chondrocyte implantation. Just a little, just anatomy of the knee, just a simple basic picture out of a Grace Anatomy book. Um, this is the only joint that this surgical treatment has been approved for. Um, why consider it? This procedure uses is used to treat the art, any articular cartilage defects in the knee. It is state of the art. It's been around for was it 2018 now? 40 years. It was developed in the 1980s, and this is almost the last resort that patients will refer to because all the other treatments they've tried have failed. Um, so two part surgery. In this first part, they basically do an arthroscopy. They go in, they find where the defects are. They will take the fluid out and harvest it, culture it, and enzymatically enhance the chondrocytes out of it. Chondrocytes are cartilage cells. Um, then once they've harvested it, grew them, they'll send them back in about six to eight weeks. Part two is an open procedure. It takes a couple of hours. What they do is they will take, they'll go in and take a piece of the periosteum off your tibia about the size of a quarter. They'll make it into a little bone patch and they'll sew the bone patch where the defect is in the knee. Then they'll inject the chondrocytes underneath that patch and just let them wait. They will adhere to the knee and essentially form new cartilage. The advantage is that this is the first treatment that has been developed that has gotten even close to tissue regeneration as opposed to any other surgical treatments that will cause the growth of fibrous, of fibrous tissue. Um, common complications to any surgery, scar tissue, um, infection, joint stiffness. The biggest one to focus on here is the failure of the cells to integrate on the cartilage, on the knee. Um, essentially, that just means the surgery just failed. Everything just failed. The rehab process is quite extensive. They have to be not weight bearing for eight weeks. Um, after that, it's uh, extensive rehab, starting with range of motion, strengthening, all the other criteria that goes into a rehab protocol. It's about the same as a stand, the time is about the same as a standard ACL, six months, with return to play being after that. A uh, quick summary, it's a state-of-the-art, uh, analogous chondrocyte implantation is a state-of-the-art procedure that treats damaged articular cartilage. It uses the patient's own chondrocyte cells to fill in to fix the defects. Um, this research here is kind of funny. Um, I have found probably three articles that say this is more cost effective than microfracture surgery. And what they do in that, they'll go in and essentially make poke holes in the bone underneath the cartilage and just let the blood clot and create a healing environment. Um, research has shown that this is more cost effective and clinically effective than that microfracture. I've found others that say microfracture is more cost effective. The difference in cost is that ACI is $28,000 uh, with most patients paying 10000 out of that. And microfracture is eight with them paying four. So after that, I just contraindicated myself. <laughs> um, these are my references. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> <laughs>